Don't ever try to be the frugal other people are. Be the frugal that works for you. Good morning, K-Squad. All I've done so far is I got up, I brewed my coffee, I fed the cats, and I fed Caden. We save money by brewing the coffee at home. But the other thing I want to say about that is it's, again, a frugal ritual that feels good. The smell that fills the home is waiting for me to take my first sip. I enjoy it. It's like a pleasurable smell and ritual and something I look forward to. And the pleasure of not having to race around in the morning, running off to a coffee shop, going through the drive through the money I don't have to spend, the additional money I don't have to spend for that process, the gas I don't have to spend on going there. Now, don't get me wrong. Once in a while, I love a cup of coffee at the drive through It just hits the spot. But I don't need to do it every day. I don't need to do it every week. I don't even need to do it every month. This cup of coffee right here in my favorite mug. The reason this mug is my favorite is two reasons. One, a good friend gave it to me, but the second, it's the perfect size cup for coffee. It's not too small. It's not too big. It's perfect. The other thing I love about it, and that's for my dietary needs right now, I like to control what's going in the coffee. I don't put any sugar in, but I do put creamer. And if I were going through the drive through and I said a certain amount, I don't know if they're a heavy pourer or a light pourer. Or I'm, I'm not sure. I have a slow, relaxed morning ritual right now. Caden is watching a little show on his iPad while he's eating his breakfast. I've got my notepad out. I am brainstorming ideas for videos and I'm drinking my coffee. This is a little bit of me time before the day gets going and it's peaceful and it's pleasurable and I look forward to it every single day. We've also got a buns. Good morning. Moving on to the rest of the prep for the day. I'm about to get our lunches ready. Mm. See, the first cup is like, hi, wake up, good morning. And this one's like, oh, hello. Have a heck of a day, Kate. I know you need the second cup. So to continue on with the frugal living money saving strategy of each day, I pack Caden's lunch and I pack my own lunch every single night I prepare. Like for example, I cook chicken in a crock pot and then I put them in several different containers for a couple days for my lunches so that I already have my protein ready. So that's like easy. If it's already prepared, now for myself, if I have my chicken, my hot protein done, then all I'm gonna need is to cut up some fruit. I usually do a dairy, either Greek yogurt or cottage cheese. And then as you guys know, sometimes I get my Think Bar. So for lunch, I'm positively gonna have my chicken that I've prepared. I'm going to have my fruit that I prepared and then Depending on how the day goes, sometimes I need it, sometimes I don't, but I do Dannon Light and Fit Greek, and this is the toasted coconut vanilla. And then if I want, again, this has, if, it depends on what you're counting, but 230 calories, eight grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein, which is what I'm mostly in it for. But it also just, it tastes like a candy bar. There's no sugar in it, zero sugar, no artificial sweeteners, gluten-free. It just hits the spot for me when I need something like this. For Caden, every morning I fill this up with cold water and I put some ice cubes in it to keep it nice and cold. Yeah. And he drinks the, <laughs> you heard me. Uh, yeah, so we keep that nice and ice cold for him for the day to use and he can refill it at school if he drinks it all. Uh. Bun says hi. Come here, Buns. Buns says, good morning. Hey, K-Squad. And honestly, while I'm here getting the lunch ready, it doesn't hurt to start thinking about what you're gonna do for dinner. So if I hadn't just made a bunch of chicken in a crock pot, maybe I would think about throwing in some more chicken in a crock pot 
or you know some kind of meal in a crock pot if you haven't seen my two videos my two crock pot video meals type in kate kaden crock pot and you will see two recipes at least that are two of my faves buns and as you also know if you've been watching me recently i track everything in my fitness pal and i plan it out ahead of time usually the night before so when i'm putting this food together. I already know what the plan is, so I don't have to think about it or stress about it in the morning. It's just executing the plan. If you watched my collab with some of my YouTube friends, I said, make the plan and execute the plan. And that's what I'm doing. Same thing with my budget, same thing with my food. Keeps it easy breezy, lemon squeezy. I don't have to overthink. I set the plan, I execute the plan, boom as I'm looking at some of my groceries here, here's a situation where you can let me know if I'm frugal or just plain cheap. Go ahead, let me know in the comments after I've shared. But if you saw my grocery haul that I did live, I had bought six containers of raspberries. They were two for $4. So that was $2 a piece for a carton of raspberries. So I stocked up that was like our berry of the week. Got a ton of them. Raspberries are my favorite. However, this week, those same raspberries for one container were $5.29. <gasps> and as much as we love raspberries, that same container that was $2 was now $5.29. It just didn't feel right to me, so I didn't buy them. What would you guys have done? Would you have got them anyway because they're your favorite, or would you have looked for your second favorite fruit at a much more reasonable price? I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I like to be getting what I like, but I also just need to be reasonable, right? So I'm cutting up my strawberries just so you know what I'm doing over here. It's the easiest to eat that way. If you pre-cut, I enjoy just eating it without having to cut off these things. You know what I mean? So as far as like fresh fruit and produce right now, I have to look for what's on sale. And sometimes if it's too high, I'm just not going to do that. So see, I'll cut up some strawberries whoop, <laughs> and spill them in your face. Uh, <laughs> So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little bit more. Buns. What are you trying to tell the K-Squad? That looks about right. Mm. So that's another thing since I've started eating more whole foods, just like the appreciation of food in its first form, just, it just, the smells of things, the tastes of things. I'm just really trying to enjoy the pleasures of frugal living and also of just like keeping it simple, you guys. I like to keep it simple. As you know, simplify is my theme of the year. Easy, chicken in the crock pot, easy. Something you should know about me if you're watching me for the first time, you should know that my frugal philosophy is I am not extremely frugal. I'm not extremely minimalist. I'm not extreme anything. I am to the degree that feels right and fits my family right. So don't ever be watching frugal videos or minimalist videos and you're thinking that you have to compare yourself to how people do things. Make it your own. That's so important to me to make it my own, make me feel like I'm being myself and my frugal life will look very different than others, but I take great pride in doing what feels right for us. And don't be comparing yourself to others. Don't ever try to be the frugal other people are. Be the frugal that works for you. So clearly, one of my frugal rituals here is getting everything ready at home so that I don't have to worry about getting food while I'm out and spending. I think going out to eat costs more than just getting it, even though groceries are higher, I get it. I rather not have to be inconvenienced to find food in the middle of the day. I like come in with it, you know what I mean? Then you don't have to spend time, money and energy getting stuff. If you've got it already with you, it's easy breezy. You can eat when you feel like it and you've got everything you need. One of the containers I use for Caden's sandwich or anything is 
I use the, the ham containers that you get. I just rip off the top that has like that thing and I reuse these containers. I think that's a great frugal habit. If you're going to buy the food, use the containers after. Don't just throw them out. They're totally useful. These are my favorite ones. I probably have seven of them. They're perfect for my meal portions. They're perfect for a sandwich. They're perfect for a snack. Easy breezy. All right. Kaden, you're all set for school, buddy. Side note, in the interest of preparedness, I took the trash out on my way downstairs so that I didn't have to go all the way back up when I get home. I can just have it ready and I can just roll it out as soon as we get back. Right, babe? Yes. Can you say good morning to the K-Squad? Good morning, K-Squad. Are we off to school to learn yes. the golden rule? Yeah. Here we go. The other thing to note is we did groceries on Monday and got gas in the car because you know I like to do batch errands. So that's another tip. Always do batch errands when you can so that you don't waste any gas. We love to go right home after work when possible. We also love it if it's nice out so we can go play outside in the yard or go for a walk in the neighborhood. I also use a refillable water bottle here at work. And here's me eating my Greek yogurt with my brownie crunch think bar. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey K Squad. So this was just my typical everyday day. You guys are often asking me for like what my mindset is throughout the day. So I just kind of wanted to walk along with you and document it. And let me know in the comments, did you enjoy this vlog style kind of video? Just for once in a while. This wouldn't be what I would do most of the time, but once in a while, let me know in the comments. Also, leave in the comments, what's your favorite frugal thing that you do daily that helps you save money? If you want more frugal living videos, I'm going to leave a couple on this end screen for you to watch next. If you like talking about frugal living, saving money, budgeting, please hit subscribe so you don't miss a video and hit that thumbs up so we know you like this kind of thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.